Today's question is, how can heaven be perfect if all our loved ones are not there? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. The word perfection carries the idea of wholeness and a lack of nothing. If something is perfect, then it is complete. So how can heaven be perfect if some people are missing? Wouldn't it be better if all our loved ones were there? God is perfect. God's dwelling place is perfect. God's plan of salvation is perfect. In God's plan, which is perfect, he extends the righteousness of Christ to all who trust in him. What happens to those who do not trust in Christ? They are rejecting perfection, rejecting God's dwelling place, and rejecting God himself. As John chapter 3, verse 18 says, Whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. To force people to believe, to ignore their sin, or to bypass Christ would be to destroy the perfection of heaven. When we arrive in heaven, our perspective will change. Our limited earthly perspective will be replaced by a holy heavenly perspective. Speaking of the eternal state, Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 says that God will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Missing our loved ones would presumably fall under the category of pain or mourning. Perhaps we will have no knowledge or remembrance of them at all. Perhaps we will have come to understand how our loved one's absence glorifies God. Now all we can see of God is like a cloudy picture in a mirror. Later we will see him face to face. We don't know everything, but then we will, just as God completely understands us. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. In the meantime, we accept by faith that what God says about heaven is true and that we will experience perfection for all eternity. For a brief description of eternity, see Revelation chapter 21 and chapter 22. Everything is made new. Everything is splendid, glorious, and blessed. That will include us. Our bodies, souls, and spirits will be completely blessed. Sin will no longer be a factor and our thoughts will be in agreement with God's. God has a plan to comfort his people, to perfect his redeemed, and to provide for them for all eternity. Right now, our focus should not be on how we can enjoy heaven or the eternal state without all of our loved ones there. Rather, we should focus on how we can point our loved ones to faith in Christ so that they will be there. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. And remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.